Hey everybody, Matt Carr, 1877 here, back for another uh, video of the Dover race today. Uh, this is our fourth weather-affected race of the year out of the 11, so uh, about a third of the races this year has been affected with weather. Uh, we started out, the first weather-affected race was Atlanta with a two and a half hour delay at the start, and then uh, Martinsville was postponed to Monday for rain, the entire or for snow, the entire race was on Monday. And then at Bristol a couple weeks ago, we had multiple rain delays stop start stop start it started on sunday and actually finished on monday so that was a big mess but uh if you've been following this channel at all you know what happens when there's a weather affected race i got to give you a recap so here we go i got it written down and uh so here we go uh, we had our first caution on lap four for the 34 car of michael mcdowell spins around uh in mid uh right there at the beginning of the race on lap four on lap 21 we had our second caution for the 72 car just blows up there was a lot of smoke on the race or a lot of smoke you know hovering over the track drivers couldn't see how to throw the caution out for that on lap 23 uh, alex bowman took the lead with only two tires after that uh, second caution on lap 52 brad Kislowski takes the lead from bowman lap 101 kyle larson gets a pit road penalty for an uncontrolled tire uh, you know pushing him way far back uh, in the pack, couple going at, yeah, that was under green flag as well. So he went a uh, couple laps down there. On lap 115, uh, Paul Menard has to go to the garage. It looks like something messed up with the tire there. Don't know the, all the details on that, but that was a, uh, that was a big mess. And then on lap 120, Kevin Harvick will win stage one. Before that, people were running out of gas under green flag, trying to make it to the end of the stage, and under caution for that stage. Uh, they were under red flag, or where would that come from? Uh, they were running out of gas as well, so uh, ooh, just uh, that was a, that was a crazy scene. Everybody was running out of gas there on lap 120. On lap 154, we had our third caution. Derek Cope hits the wall hard. He actually hit that pretty hard. The safety crew got him out there, and uh, he ended up all right from what uh, from what we saw. Uh, lap one uh, on lap 200, Kevin Harvick takes the lead. Uh, and passes Brad Keselowski for that lead. Kevin Harvick goes on to win stage one and two. Lap 253, we had our fourth caution for the 51 car spinning and hits the wall hard. Lap 271, Kyle Busch, I don't know, it looks like the something just fell out of his car there and he was done. He blew up. That was the end of his day. He gets his first DNF of 2018 season. Disappointed day if you're a Busch fan like me, but aren't many of those. Uh, lap 273, we had our fifth caution on uh, lap uh, 280. Uh, Stenhouse leads on lap 297. Boyer will take the lead. And then on lap 315, we had our sixth caution, and that one was for rain. So that's when we had the weather. We ended up getting the red flag on lap 321. Having a 41 minute rain delay, we ended up taking the green flag with uh, 75 laps to go. Let me go to the back here. Uh, on lap 348 of the 400, uh, Kevin Harvey takes the lead again from Clint Boyer as Clint was leading under that red flag. He was, he had, thought he would have had a shot to win, but um, Harvick got past him there on lap 348. And Kevin Harvick goes on to win the race at Dover. So uh, that was an action-packed race. One thing I want to say is this is Harvick's fourth win of this year. 41 career wins, which will move him up on the all-times win list, I believe, to 18th. Uh, and the four wins this year, that's going to give him more playoff points. I think that's going to tie Bush in playoff points. Uh, it, might, it might even be over with the two stage wins. I think Actually, yeah, I think he has more playoff uh, points now than Bush does. And I know he would if he hadn't got that penalty at Las Vegas where he, they took him all away. So Harvick's really doing pretty good this year. I think he could be a championship contending team, or obviously could be a championship contending team, but I think he could be the champion. Uh, we're going to have to watch Kyle Busch and see how he does because, you know, Harvick's really been good at every racetrack and dominating at every racetrack. And even though Busch got those three wins in a row, a lot of them just came right up at the end where he kind of snuck it in using strategy. You know, Adam Stevens got him the win at Richmond. Uh, you know, kind of snuck up and got the win at Bristol from Kyle Larson and, uh, you know, kind of snuck, snuck up and got that win at Texas. So all three of those wins, he kind of just snuck right up there at the end and took uh, took them from Harvick at Texas, took the win from Harvick at Texas. So uh, I don't know if Bush is really, he got the three wins because of his strategy calls. I don't think he really had the best car and, um, you know, was doing good the entire day. That's one reason I think that Harvick could be the favorite. And whoa, we had a couple of uncontrolled tires today. Fox Sports kept talking about it. The only one that I remember was Kyle Larson's uncontrolled tire. 
and uh, I'm sure I mean, I'm sure there were more, but those are the only that's the only one I remember. I do remember they were showing a tire. Uh, they never announced what driver it was, but there was a tire uh, that was just kind of sitting on the edge of pit road. I'm sure uh, some driver got a penalty for that, but uh, Fox Sports didn't show that. You know, one thing I also want to mention is Toyota really has not been doing too good lately. They haven't led, according to Fox Sports, they haven't led since last year at Atlanta, or the last time they didn't lead a lap was last year at Atlanta in 2017. Uh, that's over a year ago, so it's been a while since Toyota hasn't led a lap, and well, it happened today. Only Ford's led laps. Um, uh, Chevy might have got up there and led uh, a couple laps there in, in the mix, but I think it was all Ford's today. Um... Except, yeah, Bowman, Bowman led a few laps, but mainly it was just Fords that led. So, these Fords are really on top of things. Did good at Daytona Speed Weeks. Did good in Atlanta. Won in Atlanta. Uh, won three races in a row, as a matter of fact. And then won the Martinsville race. So, uh, whew, yeah, it's just these Fords. And Stuart Haas, Stuart Haas especially, is uh, just really uh, becoming one of the best. Uh, we saw the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse and Clint Boyer really, really battling it out there. That was a really good battle. Uh, for a couple laps there, uh, that was actually for the lead right before the rain happened, and then they got the caution for rain and brought them down pit road. That was the last caution. We didn't have a caution after that, so Harvick went on to win after that point. And Daniel Suarez really showed his talent today. Uh, you know, he hasn't been doing too good recently, but at Dover, he's done a fairly good job. Um, that's probably one of his best racetracks. He got third today. Uh, he was racing kind of far up in there. He was uh, in the top 10 for a lot of the day, and he was doing a fairly good job there. So a uh, good job for Daniel Suarez. Good day for Suarez. Tying his best finish. Uh, his best finish ever at Oval Track. So uh, I think we could start to maybe see something from Suarez that could give his team a little momentum from all the bad weeks they've had. So we'll see if uh, Suarez can start to do good next week at Kansas. A little bit of a Jimmy Johnson update here. You know, the... They kept talking about Johnson's not going to do or going to do pretty good at Dover. You know, he has 11 wins here, but uh, his last win was one year ago, 36 races ago at Dover, and he hasn't won since. And today he got ninth, and I don't think he led any laps. Uh, didn't really get into the top three. So whew, Johnson's really starting to slack off. But next week, I want to talk a little bit about Kansas. We're going night racing. Weather's not looking good there either, but hey, we're way too early to really talk about weather there. Uh, you know, they can switch around because we weren't supposed to get this race in today. Um, as of yesterday, but I didn't think we were going to get this race in. But anyway, uh, Matt Kenseth will be coming back driving the six car, so I'm going to watch him. I'm ready to see what he does, and I think, uh, I hope he does good, and you know, I hope he competes great and helps uh, the team out. But uh, we're just going to have to see if he can do good. But that's that's going to be a big story. Matt Kenseth coming back to NASCAR next week. He will race at Kansas. Hopefully he gets a full-time ride next year. That's just me. But, uh, yeah, that's about all I have to say uh, for this episode of NASCAR News for the Dover Race. And I'll see you next week after Kansas. And uh, if you're not first, you're last.